Well, it's currently in the 40s, so that only can mean one thing. Yup, time to go outside and play. That's right, gonna go outside to play today. So instead of cycling, I decided I was gonna finally do my first run outdoors of 23. What better way to kick it off than with some trail running? It's a little early in the season for trail running, being that the ground could be a little too hard or it's warmed up enough where the trails are completely sloppy and muddy or the trails are still covered in ice and snow. So I'm kind of risking it, but just wanted to get out and not run on a treadmill and not run on just some boring road. Just have a little, have a little fun. So let's go check it out. See how the trails look. So, currently on my easy week, the last three weeks, upwards of 20 hours of training. So this week's my easy week, bringing the running down, bringing the cycling down, volume and all that. So the plan is only just taking my 40, 45 mile a week of running and uh, only doing 20. Do five or six miles, that'll hit my 20 for the week. Figure since it was an easy week, might be good. Come out, get a little elevation on the legs, seeing as I'm not getting that from the treadmill. Fresh air, little elevation, kill two birds with one stone, get the dogs out. Loving it. Love, love, loving it. Potato. me a little bit of that slop I was talking about. Dogs are having a blast. They found a little snow. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll have seen this place that I run. This is honestly one of my favorite trail running places due to the fact that it starts out a little bit lower elevation. I think it starts at like 46 or 4,800 feet of elevation. Can't tell you the name of the place because I can't pronounce it, so I can't pronounce it. What I love about this little spot is it starts at a little bit lower elevation. You can connect all the way up to like 8,000. What's really cool is you can come here and do like little laps around a small little mountain, maybe two mile loop, one mile loop. So you can stay really close to the parking lot, do loops around, and then there's, there's two main routes you can connect. Both of them go to the National Forest. It all depends on how steep you wanna go. The other one on the other side, which I like to do for hill reps, uh, you can connect to a bunch of other trailheads. And then this one, it scatters. You can take it all the way to the other end of town, or you can take it straight up the mountain up towards Tahoe. Great place to run. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got more of the deserty stuff down low, forest stuff up high, fire roads, single tracks, some good rock gardens. I mean, it pretty much has it all in one little spot. Yeah, that's as I thought. Didn't get very far. Just a little bit of elevation and now I'm up in the slop. I'm hoping if I go a little further up, there's either more snow or it's um frozen, but I don't know. Well, found the snow. Ain't no fun till you're running in snow.
again, the saga of uh, GoPro pissing me off kicks in. I recorded a bunch of stuff and apparently it's not recording, it's just turning on even though I hit the record button, so I don't know. Uh, made it just under three miles, 600 feet of elevation. The dogs are kind of like <laughs> out of shape right now. <laughs> so they're uh, huffing and puffing it quite a bit. Anyways, made it to the National Forest. And as you can see, well, maybe you can see, it's uh, quite a bit of snow still. Yeah, still quite a bit of snow. Not really worth the risk of going up any further. I mean, I was only trying to get five miles, six miles at the most, so I would have only really gone a little further. Yeah, gonna turn around here. Don't need an injury right now, so we're gonna turn around and head back down the mountain and hopefully I got something for this video. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know what's been recording or not. Fun part, it's all downhill from here pretty much. Look how pretty it is though right now. Temperatures, man. I almost put on a second layer because I just have the long sleeve on and this is actually almost too much. I could have probably short sleeved it and then, of course shorts, right? I mean, 40 degrees means shorts, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip around and head back down, but look at the view real quick. extremely hard to go back to running on treadmill after this cool thing is the uh, first run outdoors since October and mixed with a little bit of elevation gain damn my legs feel extremely strong being so early in the season good to feel that all the work that's been put in with the strength and extra volume is how I can actually feel it it's a great way to kick off the weekend too. Back in the slush. If you can see it but if you can see this peak in the shot that's normally my uh, go-to hill rep and my other route that I like to take but I don't know if you can tell or not but it is definitely frozen solid so I'm glad I didn't decide to try to run up that today
152 pounds slowing you down into the rock garden. Good day trail running when your shoes look like this. Pretty sure they're they're tired. <laughs> I'm still relatively fresh. I could go all day. That was so much fun. Just finished up the first run of 23 outdoors. Seriously haven't ran outdoors since that dirty Wookiee in October. That's so crazy to think about that you haven't ran that long outside. I mean I still do 40 mile weeks, but all on uh a treadmill 732 feet of elevation and spot on five miles well i don't know what i got out of this video but i had fun <laughs> whether or not i can put anything together because my gopro may or may not have been working we'll see be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time i should just say i'll see you on my next 40 degree day been the series right like anytime that it's 40 degrees i get outside and it's like, oh, 40 degrees, there's a new video. So you see a new video, you know it was 40 degrees.